morning, everybody. My name is Michelle Fucht, and it is time for your Sunday morning live with the angels, Sunday morning inspiration. And last week, if you can recall, I came from the beautiful Tandela Lodge, and we did an amazing live video um, at Tandela Lodge. It was absolutely beautiful. Back in Cape Town, um, and I'm so happy to be back home after about three weeks away. And so it's wonderful to come live to you this morning back in Cape Town. Hello. So it's so nice to see you all again. Hi, Mommy. Hi, Carol. Hi, Armin. Thank you so much for joining. This weekend, we also kicked off with an amazing weekend. Um, beautiful people going through their Reiki Level 1 training. And I'm so blessed to share all these amazing Reiki journeys. And then we had Reiki Masters in the afternoon. Um, so we really kicked off with so much healing energy and so much light and so much empowering and teachings. Isn't it amazing? So this week's message was really inspiring inspired by yesterday with the Reiki Masters group and where we discussed anger and where we discussed that vulnerability of viewing ourselves in truth and viewing ourselves with absolute honesty. And you know sometimes we fear that so much. There are certain things within us that we don't always want to acknowledge or like to acknowledge and it's really just because we feel guilty or perhaps maybe there's a, a fear of shame you know or a fear of rejection and it's sometimes hard for us to accept those things that we, that we don't often want to acknowledge and then as we go through them and as we are vulnerable enough to open up and almost like embrace those things and accept them and almost like hug them. It's amazing what beautiful and wise teachers those exact things can become in our lives. So this week, I want to encourage you to be completely open and be completely truthful without worrying about the outcome, without worrying about whether it is going to be accepted or rejected, without the fear of being wrong, without the fear of making mistakes. And if you can move into that energy and just be completely open, honest and truthful with yourself, you'll be amazed at the outcome. It is true that it is not how we say, it is not what we say, but how we say it. So perhaps maybe if you're facing a very truthful and open and honest discussion that we need to take place, you can speak your truth with the intention to love, with the intention not to be hurtful, with the intention not to be judgmental but to really just share your own truth. Perhaps maybe someone has been a mirror to you or triggered a certain response within you that made you think about yourself and that made you really think about perhaps an aspect that you'd like to work on. Then do that with love. Do that with the intention to truly move into self-acceptance and self-honor and not to feel guilty and not to keep on churning over and over that anger and resentment, be it towards yourself or be it towards another. Because when we do that, then all of that that needs to come to the fore gets buried deeper and deeper and deeper until we get to such a point that it's really hard for us to truly acknowledge where we are on, where we are at, and what really are we not clear about. There is a principle that says the world becomes clear when you are clear. And so your message for this week is get to that 
point of clarity. Get to that point of clarity by being completely honest and truthful about yourself. And be that truth and be that honesty in your conversations with other people and also in what it is you truly want, what it is that you are truly deserving and worthy of. And so the more and more we do this, the less and less we will keep on recalling the past where we perhaps felt not good enough, where we perhaps made the wrong decisions, where we perhaps were very hurtful or judgmental towards someone else. We want to move away from that and we want to move forward in love and light and truth. And so the only way that we can do that is to truly, with love and nurturing and truth, view all aspects of ourselves and then to be truthful about them because that is the only way that we can accept, acknowledge them, and then move forward, either turning them around or being full acceptance of who we are. And so I really want to encourage you this week ahead to, to, to really do that. Just embrace and love yourself and, and don't be scared to acknowledge the fears or the shortcomings or those areas where you don't feel comfortable yet in taking action. You know, there's a principle that says you don't know what you don't know. <laughs> and how are you going to get to the no if there is not a point of acknowledgement that I do not know that and I do not know the next step? And if you then ask the question, then you have the opportunity to receive the answer. How amazing is that? So that is your message for this week. Be in your truth fully and let us share our truths with one another and together we can then walk the path of healing and light together. It's so wonderful. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Jill. Hi, Daryl. Thank you for tuning in. So it's lovely. So let us draw a card for this morning. And I am back. So on Tuesday evening, we are definitely going to have our live Q&A again. Our live Q&A on a Tuesday evening is where you have the opportunity to ask the question where we do angel messages and we really receive the guidance, the divine guidance that we need at a specific time. So let us do a card for us all this week in moving forward and just embrace where we are at this time. and. And know and receive that everything happens exactly as it should. And that there is a divine reason and time for our life's journey. And Archangel Raphael's message for this week, it revolves around angel therapy. And it says that we should share our cares and our worries. And that we can hand over our cares and our worries to the angels. And... In a way, we feel that our burdens are being shared. It's a wonderful form of release to talk. You know, and, and it very much links to our earlier message and our message for the week. And sometimes we don't talk about those things that truly, truly trouble us or that truly, truly worry us, and they just get buried deeper and deeper and deeper. If you talk about something, and if you talk about something honestly and truthfully, you know there's a principle that says what you hide most shows most, and so sometimes we talk about something, but we only talk about those that those things that feel acceptable or those things that I will not be judged on. But if we talk about everything and we are prepared to be that open and that vulnerable, there's such a sense of relief, isn't there? And so this card is an invitation to talk, to share your cares and your worries and your burdens with God and the angels and also to share that with a partner and with a friend so that you can 
feel the release of sharing, the release of talking, that feeling of I'm not on this planet all alone. And I do have people that will listen. And I do have divine beings and the divine that really walks with me on this journey, that loves me unconditionally, and that will always listen and care for me. And in saying so, I know that all of my needs will be provided for me always. And so I trust and I have faith. And as you affirm this, just uh, can you feel the release of knowing that you are not alone and that you are always guided and always supported? Archangel Raphael can assist us with truthfully communicating matters of the heart. Archangel Raphael is the divine physician, the healer. And so it's so fitting for today's message that if you have to share something truthfully, if you have to speak the truth and you're afraid of that, ask the help of Archangel Raphael in the week to come and be clear and be truthful and be open and most importantly, love yourself through the process. What a blessed and amazing message for the week ahead. And so I just am guided to do a few cards. Now we know that normally on a Sunday morning we don't do the messages because that is for a Tuesday evening for our live Q&A. Is there anybody specifically at this time that would like to receive a card? Hello, Brian. Thank you for joining us this morning. How are you, Daryl? <laughs> yes, I was your buddy in work for a while. Um, and definitely so blessed to have been surrounded by amazing friends and so much kindness and love and friendship as I was there. It, one does really feel truly blessed. And it's also lovely to be at home. So is there anybody that is drawn to ask for a card this morning on our Sunday morning live. I decided to ask the question. So if there's anybody that would like a card, then oh now I see the comments. Hi Alan, how are you? Daryl, so here is a card for you. So we'll do a message for Daryl. Lisa, oh, nice to see you or hear from you, miss you. Armin, all right, and one for you. So we'll do those three and then we'll close off this morning. And here, Daryl, is your message for the week ahead. <laughs> it's always so amazing. Oh, do you really want to look at that? Can you see the screen? And can you see the word, Daryl? Prosperity, Archangel Ariel. Your material needs are provided for. Follow your intuition. Manifest your dreams, Daryl. Do not give up. Do not lose hope. Do not lose faith. Do not lose trust. Keep on visualizing the outcome, visualizing your dreams, talk as if it has already happened for you and talk as if you are exactly at the right place at the right time. Affirm your trust that all of your needs will be met for you always and most importantly, follow your intuition. Don't doubt yourself. If you get an idea, if you get a message, if you get a thought or a hard moment, Follow up on it immediately. And that is how you will be guided going forward. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to send you this image and so that you can just receive it in your heart. How amazing is that? Keep the faith, keep the trust. Lisa, here is a card for you. Oh, I'd love to see you again. How are you? <laughs> Beautiful Lisa, here is your card for the week ahead. 
you will be so glad, Lisa, that we are doing our fourth Reiki Masters group already. Fourth, fourth Reiki Masters group of beautiful souls undergoing their Reiki Masters training. And how blessed are we? Lisa. <laughs> Lisa, this is an amazing card referring to relationship harmony, confirming that the angels are with you at this time and seeking a resolve and working with you for a beautiful outcome for everybody concerned. And it's amazing confirmation. It is Archangel Rubber Well that can assist us with relationship harmony. And so your message, I'll read it for you, is we angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are being resolved now. What an amazing message. And I'm doing so much gratitude. Just, you know what we're receiving this morning is the confirmation and the validation that there is support and that prayers are being answered, and that miracles are abound. And all we have to do is to keep the faith and keep the trust. Yes? How amazing is that? And Harmin, here is a card for you. I haven't seen you in a long time. How are you? Wonderful to see you on the live. And so here is a message for you, Harmin. <laughs> Archangel Asriel, I absolutely, absolutely love working with Archangel Asriel because it's the angel um, that assists us during periods of grief, um, endings, transformation, counseling, assisting us to really move through a counseling process, whether it's for ourselves or someone else and also reassures us sometimes that our loved ones are absolutely fine in heaven on the other side. Archangel Azrael, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. <laughs> How amazing is that? So, Hermine, I don't know if you have specific abilities in doubting yourself or also if you feel that you call towards something and maybe just wanted confirmation on that, definitely what we're receiving for you is trusting yourself, trusting yourself. And call on Archangel Azrael when you do need help. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi, Yolanda, I just see your message now and we'll do a card for you for the week ahead. This is your inspirational message for the week ahead. For those that have just joined, please listen to the beginning of the video. It will be replayed on Facebook and it will also be posted on my YouTube channel. But please listen to the guidance for the week ahead to allow you to stand in your truth and to face those challenging conversations and also sometimes those challenging vulnerable aspects within ourselves that we want to overcome or that we find hard to deal with. So I want, would want to ask you to please listen to the message for those that are just joined now as it will really assist you in going forward for the week ahead. So much love. Yolanda, this is a confirmation of divine order. It means that everything is exactly how it's supposed to be in this moment. And sometimes if things doesn't look right or things doesn't look as if anything is going well at this point in time, please know that sometimes when circumstances shift, when life shifts everything around a bit or it looks a bit upside down, Please keep the faith and please keep the trust that everything is exactly as it should be right now. So your message is everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. 
So such beautiful messages of encouragement for you all for the week ahead. And it does not mean that if someone received a message for them, that it's not for you. If it resonates with you, accept it in your heart. Let us talk about stuff that bothers us this week. Let us become clear. Let us stand in our truth. Let us shift past the illusions of fear and doubt. Let us not bury things that's important for us to address or to talk about. Sending you all lots of love. Have an amazing Sunday fun day. And whether it is at home, chilling in front of a fireplace, or watching a movie, or spending time with loved ones and family, be blessed. And wishing you so much love and so much blessings for the week ahead. Today we are continuing day two of the Reiki Level 1 training. Very exciting day um, for the group today. And so have a beautiful week. And we will connect on Tuesday evening at 8 p.m. for our live Q&A with the angels. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye.